my name is Kinesia talking to you again today. I really want to talk to you about what is my story, why I'm making these videos, and I, why I want to help y'all out. So, it all started in it. It all started on my eighth grade year. This boy named Quaterius, you can find him on YouTube. Subscribe him. He's really cool. Yeah. So, he, while I was on my eighth grade year, he was in his 10th grade year. And we both really liked each other. Like, this was my, what everybody had mostly problem was because this was my, friend, my best friend, my close, my best friend, brother. And, and I thought it wasn't a problem, you know. Because we just got, to, we just really got to know each other in the 7th grade. And we was friends from ever since the 5th grade, you know. Um, the reason why I'm telling you this because I want you to understand why I do this. Why I want to do this. So, it all started in 8th grade. Um, I was just a cheerleader and he was a football player. So, every day, we would wait on each other after every practice. And we would just talk, talk. And then when I, we got to the house, if we was on Facebook, we would still talk. And if we was, and then when I get on the phone to talk to his sister to do some homework, he would want to talk. And I was like, okay. And sometimes he, under, he understood that I was doing homework. And he was like, oh, well, I'll just call you back in an hour or so. And I'd be like, okay. So... I think we really got to talk more because I tried to ask him to prom. Yeah, we have an 8th grade prom in the 8th grade prom with high school. So, yeah. And he was like, no, I'm going to ask you because it's the right thing to do. And I was like, I kind of respect that, but when you're going to ask me. So, we talked every day and I felt like I finally found my soulmate. And when basketball, when November came, was homecoming, you know, we really got to know each other. We, we kind of talked, we kind of didn't, because he, it was homecoming, he had to play, but our team lost. I was so mad, furious, furious, when we lost homecoming. Um, um, it was like the Thanksgiving break, I mean, in essence, yeah, we had detention on a Saturday. We was mad, because we didn't do nothing. We had to do it on Saturday. Um, really, all we did was, you know, we was talk. And we went outside. I met a couple of friends. And I was like, who is this? And I was like, I'm Kinesia. They say, you're the class you're talking about. And I was like, yeah, he talks about me. I never thought he talks about me. So, it was like so then, you know, me and Essence, we were going to the movies, and when we came back from the movies, I spent a night over their house, and, because the boys, they went out, you know, they went to skating, so I went to stay over their house the next day, and when I went outside, everybody was like, is this the girl that we talking about, and I was like, it was like, she was like, yeah, this is the girl, it's Kinesia, and it was like, and then I met CJ, he was in the car with them, and so they was playing a game called Truth or Dare, but it's actually Truth, and he cursed, and it was like, name a girl that you like, and some other stuff, so he said he liked it, me, and I was like, what, and he said he would kiss me, he would rob me, but the things he was scared of is that if I went out with him, that... I would like I would tell people and I was like of course I'm gonna tell people I'm a girl <laughs> and that's the first thing because in mind if you thinking about having a relationship with a girl the girl's gonna tell you everybody because she want everybody to know you that you hurt you know she don't want to write you um and then when basketball season came you know we kind of got over it because you know it's been a break it's been a whole December break for us and we haven't talked since November, I guess. And yeah. So yeah. Um when basketball season came, it was kinda difficult because we still had to practice and he had basketball practice. But we was also getting ready for my the King Parade. I was afraid that he wouldn't notice me. No more that you know he would probably ask me how. Because you know it's almost Thanksgiving. And I mean, <laughs> like things are getting violent times, so yeah.
So by the time Valentine's came, he really broke my heart. Like, I gave him a card, and he gets, he gets his ex-girlfriend, you know. He gets a, his ex-girlfriend this big old card and this gift, and I get nothing. And I make, I spent almost all night giving him, making a card for him, and it was actually nice. And I was scared to even give it to him because, you know, and as I said, just give it to him. So I gave it to him. So at the Valentine's Day, everybody told me that they saw the card, and I got him to live, and I saw her cry. And everybody's like, you don't need him. He don't respect you anyway, so what's the point, you know? Ever since on him. And then my birthday came. It was the February 26th. And I was hoping that he might remember it because his, not, his is not that too far from mine. It's only like a couple months. And Abel's a day older. And my friend Abel, he's a day older than me, you know? And it was all over Facebook. People were telling me happy birthday in front of him. And he never thought to say, stop to say happy birthday. And ever since then, I just regretted him. I regret trying to meet him. I just been annoying him. So we went on this field trip, and he'd been trying to talk to me, and I'd been trying to ignore him, and he's been trying to talk to me. And I was like, why, dude, why would you want to talk to me? You broke my heart. I don't want nothing to do with you. So I guess that was everything. Everything was dead and said what is said back there. And if you got any questions about any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them because I'm kind of can't tell but finish the whole story because I'm like just to cry right now, you know. And it's actually painful to tell the story, but this is my testimony right here. But just follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Um, find me on Facebook at Kinesia Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at OG underscore Kinesia. Twitter. I forgot my Twitter name, but no, oh, it's it's Kinesia. Or Twitter. And mm, that's about it.